So we want to make sure that people we consider to be hometown heroes are able to afford things like buying their first home. That was Governor Ron DeSantis last year announcing the creation of the Hometown Heroes program. This is a $100 million program that will provide down payment and closing cost assistance to more than 50 different professions. Less than a year later, DeSantis says the program has provided $50 million in down payment closing cost assistance to help people in certain professions achieve home ownership. Caroline Benson, press secretary for the Florida Housing Finance Corporation, called it a huge feat. The $50 million is just a huge milestone to reach when the program isn't even a year old, just to get that assistance out to the people working in the communities who really need it. She tells us who's eligible for the program. Law enforcement officers, firefighters, educators, healthcare professionals, and active military or veterans. Except for active military veterans, those who qualify must be first-time home buyers who meet certain income requirements. Through the home Town Heroes program, they can receive up to 5% of their first mortgage loan for a maximum of $25,000, and that would help with the down payment or closing cost assistance for their home. So a pretty good deal. More than 250 mortgage lenders participate in the program. For more information, visit floridahousing.org. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. The unemployment rate in St. Johns County drops to 1.8 percent. That's below the state's historically low rate of 2.5 percent. Scott Maynard, director of economic development for the St. Johns County Chamber of Commerce, attributes the drop to... We have a lot more people going to work, which is a positive sign. The negative of that is there are not a lot of individuals that are seeking employment. So a lot of our industries here are still struggling to fill jobs. Organizations like Career Source are continuing to step up and they're offering more and more job fairs. There are opportunities out there for those seeking employment to be able to connect directly with employers. Maynard says employers who are hiring need to get creative in advertising their positions. Be sure that you're working with our local schools like St. John's River State College or Flagler College. Also, we're seeing companies are having more success if they're advertising their open positions in multiple locations. With St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Amy Cherry. St. John's County Schools is holding its Character Counts 6K, 3K run walk this Saturday. The district's chief of community relations, Christina Upchurch, describes what Character Counts does. Character Counts is an initiative that was started in 1998 here in the school district along with area businesses. And it really focuses on the six pillars, hence the name of the race, the six pillars, 6K, 3K. It focuses on trustworthiness, fairness, caring, citizenship, responsibility, and respect. And so each of those pillars we focus on every month throughout the district and then our schools it really is the foundation the plate for what everything else is built on there's another component to this event it is a fundraiser for character counts it helps us to provide grant and supplement some of our other events that we have throughout the district like the american youth character awards the character cup that we do with fifth graders around the county and um, a middle school breakfast and community partnership this is the 10th year for the run walk we have mascots dressed up from the schools we have music playing we have some of our high schools send students out or clubs to cheer everyone on with signs and flutter flags and the whole bit. So it's just a really, it's a great time to come together, celebrate character counts, and do something healthy as well. Visit runsignup.com to learn more and register. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Rich Petschke. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's Local Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.